a fabulous shot. Good afternoon and welcome to the Predator WPA Men's World 10 Ball Championships live from the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino here in lovely Las Vegas. Our next matchup is between Spaniard David Alcadi and Talal Albluchi from Kuwait. Your referee for this one is Dwayne Payne. It's a straight race to eight, winner breaks. It's 10 ball call shot, of course, and calling the shots with me in the booth is Jim White. Good afternoon, Jim. Very good afternoon to you, Mark. Happy to be here, and uh, we've got the best seat in the house. A young man that I haven't seen a lot of, I have to confess, but I doubt that he came all the way here to shop and a one into the side to get things going, and he actually has a shot at the two, now the three. That's a different story. Yeah, no early tens in the WPA format. It's a cool shot, of course, you must call the pocket. And if a ball goes in the wrong pocket, your opponent gets the option of whether they want to come to the table or give it back to you. Yeah, no early tens, that got me in the first match. I thought I'd just remind you, Jim, I was listening to you and Christina. I thought I'm gonna tell him when I see him. You didn't have to, the producer beats you to it. Very nicely controlled that, look, he's got the three in the side. Yeah, he's got a tiger by the tail in uh, David Alcady, though. I mean, a super strong Spanish contingent that have made their way here from Spain. And David, for all intents and purposes, the band leader. Yeah, he's the orchestra. He's the one holding the baton. Well, I say baton, cue. Oh, up off the cue a little quick there, Mark, and didn't stay steady. So here's our first look in this year's World 10 ball. David Alcady. As you say, Jim, one of the, oh, that's a nice shot he's played there. How well did he control that? Great shot. Really bit, <coughs> really bit into that cue ball then to hold it with a little bit of right English as well off the side rail, nicely behind the five ball and a big wall of balls there, James. Yeah, pretty easy kick, really. And it's just a question of whether or not he gets it safe, but he'll hit this. Yeah, as is always the case, not just hitting it, but getting it safe, which he has done there, but I think he might be in a little bit of trouble again after this shot. Chance to glue him up behind one of the balls this time. Yeah, how about the purse in this event, eh? A quarter of a million dollars total prize money and 60,000, unprecedented 60,000 to the eventual winner. I think it's the highest amount ever paid for a world championship. It wouldn't surprise me. I, I don't know that offhand, but um, yeah, it wouldn't shock me at all. I think 50,000 US Open, not sure what the world championships were, but I've heard that 60 is the highest. Uh, this one is just a little bit more difficult to hit. Three ball, not close to any rail. United Arab Emirates, this young man is from. Yeah, it's becoming a hotbed of pool there. I remember going to Dubai back in the early 90s when uh, we had a snooker event at the Al Nasser Stadium in Dubai, and players couldn't wait to go to Dubai, probably as much for the shopping as anything else. Well, funny you should mention that because Jason Shaw is about to open up his second room, and that's gonna be in Dubai. Oh, he's got a lovely little thin clip off this. Oh, look at this for a result. Well, I thought he was gonna get a bit of cover, but he hasn't. <coughs> so a chance for the Spaniard to have a go at this. You fancy owning another pool room in another country, Jim? I've got enough headaches, Mark. That's what they say, quickest way to become a millionaire in pool room business is to start with two million. 
You know, it's uh, it's like buying yourself a lot of hours, I promise you. As you know, you've been to my club. Well, the 10 ball goes in by mistake. Now, this is interesting because Al-Qaeda could give this back if he wanted. It is your option, sir. Sorry, I mean... Talal can give it back, is what I meant to say. Can we ask one of them to change their shirt, Jim? They're very like. They're very alike, their shirts. <laughs> to be so accurate with that well the jump stick's going to come out for this one is it there's your answer yes it will the air rush I played a bit of pool last night Jim had any little, good had a little go at the Salotto booth that was alright hit some nice balls Now the first real chance. He's already had one look at the three and missed it, Talal. He's got another good chance here. And everything's in the open. And he certainly is the underdog in this match. David, a wealth of experience. And he's got some, he's got a very impressive resume too, does David Alcady. So if Talal is gonna have any success against a player the ilk of an al -Qaedi. He's got to make hay while the sun shines. Yeah. And he's well short of intended position there. Off angle on this four to the corner pocket. Possible 10 ball? Is it a thin clip on the four for the 10? Yes, it is, and down it goes. It keeps him at the table anyway, but I guess he didn't. Well, no, he did call it. He's just looking at it. But the billiard on the 10 certainly afforded him the opportunity. I don't know why he would play a shot like that. I think it was because he couldn't get to the the five ball from the from the angle he had on the four. But then, again, he's not on the four now. So, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, he's bumped honest. the four into a safe position. I mean, if you're, if you're going to play the four safe and use the 10 as a, as a buffer, you might as well not call the 10. So a little... A little surprised at his plan of attack there, but he's the one with the cue. Well, once again, David is going to use the short stick. He's playing cue, becoming redundant in this opening rack. Good thing about jumping off the rail here is you get your hand not that little bit higher, your bridge hand. Oh, that was a good jump just wobbling it here we see it again good effort <coughs> few players already through this morning Francisco Sanchez Ruiz David's mate went through 8-2 against Mickey Krause Abdullah Al Shamari beat local boy Eric Roberts 8-3 and the one you com commented on Jim, Lee Van Cortesa winning on the hill against Roberto Gomez. Suke through as well. Wow. Yeah, some bad misses. Nerves could be a factor. Yeah, it's still the first rack, but he's not really uh, establishing any confidence, is he? No, he's pretty annoyed about that one. Rightly so. It was, well, it was one you shouldn't miss, really. Not at this level. Nice touch there. Nice angle on the six. The one thing I've noticed on this table, table one, is when players have run out of position, Mark, more times than not, it's been because they've run short. So they just are getting fooled by the speed of the table. They think it's a little faster than it's really playing. Yeah, that was a common thread, wasn't it, throughout the both the men's and the women's Las Vegas Opens. A lot of the players saying that the cloth is playing slower than it used to, which is what they all wanted. 
everyone was complaining about how quick it was, or not complaining, but making comments that it was very, very fast and uncontrollable. Now, they've got it just right. Hundred and twenty eight player field, the full field. All the top all the top guns are here. Yeah, and this one is invitation and then it goes to a, a waiting list. So in it goes then. First rack. He had a few chances, a few bites at the cherry, so to speak. David Alcady goes through and another one of his compadres is in action at the moment. Jose Alberto Delgado. He's up against Edgy Geronimo, and the Spaniard is taking the first one in that. Ekankachi is in action on table two. He's up against Joven Bustamonte. And look at that, Conrad, musician. The Polish invasion. We saw four in the last eight of the men's event. I'll tell you, in the first match that I commentated with Christina to catch, I was uh, mentioning how strong Poland is right now. I mean, they, they might be emerging as one of the most dominant countries in Whirlpool that, that we've seen in a while. Yeah, and they've been threatening to do it. They've been, I think there was a case where they had all eight in the last eight of a Euro Tour one year. Well, e even here, I mean, Shevchek is your defending champion and you know, another young Polish player has just gone back to back in the Las Vegas Open. Yeah. Viktor Zelensky, the wizard. The wizard from, I think he's from Warsaw, actually. The wizard from Warsaw. Now then, I'm going to ask you a question. Who's the wizard of Wishaw? I thought I thought that's what you were saying. Uh, if I didn't know the answer to that, I would could never have said I had a snooker background, could I? Yeah. But I didn't know that... Uh, yeah, John Zelensky, Higgins we're talking about, I sorry. I didn't know Zelensky <laughs> was the, uh, the wizard of Warsaw. Yeah. That's, I like it. I might, if I was John Higgins, I might have a say in that. He's just had a bit of a skid there. <clears throat> Asking for the ball to be cleaned. Oh, he's disgusted with that contact. There's Dwayne's implement. Make sure. Yeah, much like the snooker referees, they uh, they move it up, just touching the cue ball, and then lift the cue ball up the opposite end. <coughs> well, I know David is using the chalk that alleviates a lot of the bad contacts and keeps the cue ball clean. If your opponent isn't using the same one, Jim, there's your problem. Yeah, true enough. That was a good shot David played. He knew he was going to be very close to the three. And the speed that he played that, he had to be very, very careful. And I don't think he could have played it a lot better. mentioned 60 to the winner Jim it's 40 to the runner-up 20 to semi-finalists and 9,000 for fifth through ninth through eighth of course I mean I've never understood that terminology. I've tried to use American terminology and it's, it's come back and bitten me, James. We don't say through. We would say fifth to eighth. That's yeah. what we would say. But I, try, I tried to it's kind I tried of do my bit for the States there. That's kind of how we'd say it in Canada too. Well, this has gone a little bit wrong to say the least. Yeah, if he can still cue it this white comfortably into the six, He'll be okay, but... He's got a lot of English on that, a lot more than he thought he would. Yeah, he didn't intend cannoning the six. That's what's taken him out of position, but I, I expect David to get this, and he can cue comfortably at the white, so 
no danger, Mark. Yeah. Oh, just brushed it again, and he's hit it again. Well, he's certainly going into some balls, isn't he? Great shot. Quick look at the clock. He's already used his extension. 30-second shot clock in effect here. Yeah, this is going to pull up. Nicely, might have to go twice across though, Jim, or come shorter side on the 10. Yeah, his choice, either one. Yeah, he's showing you now, just down to the left of the 10 to play at bottom right. I was watching the first match that you were commentating on. I had the luxury of laying on my bed to view that when I was really admiring how great this arena looks like, especially that big picture of the world behind the, the player's head. I really like that. Yeah, it really is a special looking arena. What technology can provide nowadays. The LED lighting. And it goes 2-0. No problems so far for David al as we would expect. You know, he's got the break in the next. And speaking of breaks, we'll take a short break and be right back at you. No, you haven't died and gone to pool heaven. You're joining us at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in fabulous Sin City. It is the WPA Predator World 10 Ball Men's Division. And front and center right now from Spain, David Alcady, El Matador. Yeah, he's made the four railer, made one in the side as well. But unfortunately, look what happened to that four ball. Don't think it's available anywhere. And the two, of course, also. So he's going to push out here. For those of you new to the game, after the break, if you don't like the position you've got, you can push out. And then your opponent has the option to play from where you leave it. Or they can give it back. He might give this one back, actually. Yeah, you never want to make it too tough. He's left the two poking out, but not enough of it to be able to cut it in. And that four ball, as Talal has just shown you, that provides the insurance policy in this rack, should a mistake creep in. Yeah, that was the problem, the double kiss. I think that's, he's had a, a little bit of a result there, Jim. It was hard to avoid the double <coughs> kiss. Scratch was on as well if he hit it too thick. <coughs> Talal Al Blushi. Wasn't he one of the Blues brothers? Well, they're taking turns. with the double kisses there. David trying to miss that six, but just caught the two a little too thick. Anyone think it's Valentine's Day, Jim? Well, we'll see if Talal can stem the tide here. He actually should have won the first track, had a couple chances, and in the end, the experience of El Cady came to the fore. Torsten Holman had a great win in his first match. 
8-0, served up a donut to the Vietnamese Ta Van Lin. Oh, look at this little kiss on the four ball. That will uh, do very spe nicely. Special shot, that one. Very nice. Very good shot. Can't say enough about it. Especially if he takes it home and secures the win in this rack. He's got a little bit of angle. Go forward, two rails for the six in the side. Oh, he's drawn it. I thought he was going forward by the looks of it, but nicely played. Couldn't have played it better, in fact. And this will settle him down, Jim. I mean, he's looked a little bit edgy up until this point, but this should calm the nerves. This is an indicator of what he's capable of, too. Yeah, I mean, that shot to get the four out was a sweet shot. And he's also quick around the table, doesn't mess around. Just like that, 2-1. And a terrific clearance to get to 2-1. Yeah, that's gonna be on one of our highlight reels for you, I would have thought. During the little breaks, we're going to build up some some nice little highlight reels for you to enjoy. And we've got a few interviews as well with, with the players that we're going to flash up every now and then. Just to mix it up a bit. Keep you on your toes there at home. You won't want to miss it. Introduce you to some of the world's best. Jump into their mind and hear what they have to say about the current state of pool. What they think about coming to Las Vegas. Well, James Georgiardis, the guy that helped us out in the booth a couple of times, had a good win this morning. He won 8-6 over Ho Yun Kwan. Well done, James. He's from down under, mate, down there in crocodile country. <coughs> so yeah, the break playing, off. Playing pool doesn't look like such a bad idea when it comes to choices of wrestling crocodiles or sharks. Playing a little pool. <laughs> dealing with a few sharks are you talking about Paul now or back home in Australia <laughs> <laughs> well, David with the push out option still but quick look at the shot clock interesting so we'll see if Talal is pretty handy with a short cue. If not, David this is going to remind him that he is. And David will be coming back with a short cue. And this will send a message. This might be the professor sending the student back to school. Well, he's told him to go and sit in his chair. Can he keep him there? Do you know, that's the third jump shot David's had, and it's the third one he's missed. He's made the jump, of course, but missed the, the actual making the ball. So yeah, I th maybe Dave, that was in the back of well, that was, you know what? his uh, mind. I, I certainly thought David would make that shot. I thought that was the reason he pushed into the jump. Normally very proficient with the air rush, but not on this occasion, not yet, not this morning. We're going to see a little bit of Talal's Q power here, too. He's going to have to draw this back. Not a long ways from where the cue ball is now. Long straight two. Corey Jewell is in action. Just spotted his name on the list. He's two down to John Wims at the moment, early in that match. Yeah, nice for me to see Corey. Corey's a, a good old friend of mine. I've known for a long, long time, played a lot of golf with him, and uh, it's good to see him every now and then. And he still looks pretty healthy, too. I want to find out what face cream he's using.
Well, we saw in the last rap, Jim, this man knows how to run out, and any little problems he comes across, he can solve them. How does he get to the five ball? Well, I think there's little doubt that when we see Talal, we're, we're evidenced of how strong his aggressive game is. The, the tactical side, I think, uh, he would be bowing to David, but he knocks him in in rapid succession. Good shot here if he can just avoid that eight coming off that side cushion. Oh, he might make the 10 here just to keep the break going. 10 yeah. will be respotted, of course. He's got to be careful here, though, with the 10 coming back up. And he may have played for the 6 10 combination. Yeah, must call it, of course. He will have told referee Dwayne Payne. 10 ball. And now you'll see him come out of his chair and come and respot the 10 ball. Audience engrossed in this first round match. Double elimination all the way to the top 32. And then we go races to 10. This one race to eight, winner breaks. Nicely held on the 10 ball there, Jim. Played a nice shot there. Plays these little caroms very nicely. They can go as a rye. Hard not to be impressed. Young man we know little about, but we can certainly knock him in. He had a little bit of a shaky start, but that's to be expected on the big stage. Not sure how many times he's played on a in front of a, a big crowd with the TV cameras on and different conditions. You're not allowed to practice on this table in general. Only if you have a match on here can you come on before it and knock a few balls around. But very, very impressed. And he's going to go 2-2 here. This is good stuff. Yeah, From a match that we initially thought Mark was going to be a little one-sided. We just forgot to tell him. He hasn't read the script, James. Missed Didn't the read script. the script. So how good was it? How much of an accomplishment to come back here a year later and retain your Las Vegas Open title, Jim. 192 players was it were in that. And, you know, I spoke to him yesterday because I hadn't seen him because I didn't commentate on the final, so I never got to speak with him after the final. Spoke to him yesterday, and he said he should have been out. He was... The other guy was on the hill against him in the knockout stage and missed a dead straight in 10. How many times that? is a common theme. I, it would shock you. Players have won events, and they can recount at least one instance where they could have been on the sidelines. Oh, well, if it, it was going in anyway, the two ball, sorry, he's up to there, the two ball, just enforcing it. Watch this. Cue ball on its way anyway, and then in comes the two ball and says, get in there. Just, Let's go in together. Yeah, I'll follow you <laughs> in. David's been caught up. He won the first two racks. He's lost the last two. So he's really just in his mind now how he wants to play from the four to the five. I think he's going to put stick in behind the four ball here well, and get on, him on two fouls. Yeah, he's, a, he's on one foul already. And if he doesn't like the lay of the land, and I mean, he can certainly lay that cue ball right behind the four. He yeah, needs to glue it to it, Jim, doesn't he? Cut off as many rails as put well. He's bumped it a little bit. He's yeah. made it easier to hit now. He was trying to get the three up around the 10 and the 5 to, uh, to be able to play a real good attacking third snooker for the foul. But no, this, this is not good, and he won't be happy with it because this is an easy escape. He 
if you'd like to keep an eye on any of the other games going at the moment, you can go to tv.kazoom.com. Oh, he's missed it. Can you believe it? Well, looked like an easy escape. One wow. cushion hit. Yeah, tv.kazoom.com, and you can choose which table you'd like to watch. Plenty of action all the way through to the 4th of March. So no prizes for guessing where that cue ball's going this time, yeah, right behind that 10. Right in between the 10 and the 6. He'd love it there. Take all the cushions away right there. Perfect. That's exactly where he wanted it. Now them. this is really difficult. Yeah. This is the definition of ugly. Well, as Tony Robles likes to say in this situation, he hasn't just put him in jail. It's solitary confinement, and they've thrown away the key. If he doesn't hit it, the rack will be awarded to the Spaniard. That's just what you need, Jim, a nice quick rack after. Your opponent's come back with two. He's missed it again, and that will be the rack. No contact, third foul, that's okay. Yeah, David Alcady, not the conventional path to the finish line, but it all counts. Three, two, he's in front. And what did we say about the safety side of Talal. We know, we've seen evidence, Jim, that he can run out and manoeuvre the balls around. There was a prime example of what you spoke about, about the other side of his the game. Tactical the side, tactical side, yeah. He'll, side, yeah. Uh, he'll have to bow to David's experience there, and we just saw it come to the forefront. But 3-2 still, this is a long ways to go. It's a race to eight, remember, winner breaks. You know, you get clicking with that break and you can string a few together. You can overhaul a deficit. So needs to get a decent break here. And now he can take a two rack lead if he can run this. For Rayla, and he's looking for that one every single time. And look at this for a layout, Jim. How do you like this? That is a superb break, as good as any we've seen in 10 ball for some time. Look at the five, six, and seven look all up there. One, two, three. It's going to be a few stop shots. Just knock this one in, maybe draw back a little bit, try and get the two dead on. Stop it dead for the three to the side. Don't miss many from the com box. He's dead in on the two. Yeah so important as we always know the 10 ball break it's the one variable Jim that's and that's why you've got to look at players with the big breaks in this particular yeah when you've got a big break Mark you're, you're never out of it there's a few Shane Van Bonin Chang Jung Lin Tyler Starr, of course, has a, a very good 10 ball break. Fedor Gorst. Something I had mentioned to uh, Christina Tikach when we were commentating. You know, nice young lady and uh, her career just starting out. And I thought. How nice it is for her to be able to sit in the commentary box and see all the best players in the world, watch what they do, analyze what they do. And you can't help but learn. Yeah, she's a great student of the student game. Student of the game, yeah, exactly. I got that feeling. I, I literally just met her earlier today, but I, I genuinely got that feeling. And I thought, you know, what a nice opportunity for a good young and up and coming player. Yeah, and for such a young lady, She's got a very, very old head on her shoulders, the way she goes about things, very focused, got, got a, a fitness regime that she goes on, uh, you know, proper drills. She's very famous on YouTube as well for doing her drills and interacting with her fans. Very important these days, you know. Oh, David. What's he done there? He's come across it. 
Let's have a look at this Jim. What did he do here? Did he just misjudge it? Yeah, probably just never looked at it. Maybe took his eye off it to see where the cue ball was going. You never know. Long, just off straight. Well, this Eight is a test here. for this him This is here. a test of cueing. Especially after that three fouls, Jimmy. He hasn't had a shot other than escaping previously to these. Oh, look, that's, there's your answer. How well has he hit that? Yeah, deservedly, a round of applause as well. Cued that very, very beautifully. And Talk yeah. about burning that miss into David Alcady's mind. OK, we're going to hop out, guys. We'll be back when the players are back. See you soon. And we are back, and there you see the reigning World Temple champion there in action, Wojtek Shevchik, on the second table up. Here to defend the title he won, and in the background, well, it's, it's team's finals day here, I think. There's 110 of those Predator seven-foot bar box tables in those rows, and under the Rio roof, including all four rooms. I want to own this room for one day and have all these tables on time. <laughs> and and have everybody drinking like they're doing. <laughs> Just one day. So we're waiting for our players to come back. Let's have a quick look around the room and see some scores. Corey Jewell, 3-1 down against John Wims. Corral, uh, Simon Corral, 4-0 up against Luis Santos. Omar Al Shaheen in action. He's 2 3 down to the Polish Daniel Masial. Nokioi, the Joker from Japan, is 4 0 up against Mats Shetner. Now, Esteban Robles, one of the owners of our sponsor for the Alpha Las Vegas Open, is in action. The Costa Rican is 2 3 down to Minuk Ha. Sebastian Rodriguez. Is against Eklan Kachi's best mate, the copper from Albania, the policeman, Bessar Spahiu. He trails 3-1. And the coach of Aloysius Yap, Lian Han To from Singapore, is playing another one of the Spanish Armada over here. Jonas Soto Comino, their level 2-2. And talking of Eklund Kachi, he's 5-0 up. Just gone 5-1, actually, against Joven Bustamonte. You're up to date. We're back in the room with young Talal Al-Blushi breaking off. 
three three. No friends at the table. Shot at the one for David. So a chance to very quickly erase the memory of that miss on the eight. Yeah, and look at the contrast in the break from Al Qaeda's previous break. A little bit wild. One was on its way to the side but got kicked. Played it a little bit thicker to take some pace out of the cue ball. Now there's a gap between six and ten. Is he going to stun through there, Jim, and swing the cue ball around three rails? Yeah, you know, the, where he's looking right now, where he's standing, if he could get the cue ball back into that line where he can attack the three and take the cue ball into the four. I mean, a little bit would oh, be... Oh, he's caught the... No, he's not on the line now, so... That plan's gone out the window. He misjudged it. Just the safety now, I feel, Mark. Yeah, I was just wondering, would he sort of play maybe thin off this three ball, Jim, back behind the six with the cue ball? Oh, he's gone the other way. He's played the same shot. Oh, he's called the bank, did he? Five's on now. Nice little nudge, but the three isn't. Yeah, not an easy safety here either. Ten ball in the way, slightly six as well of playing the up and down up. Had to go the other way. Well, oh, this is not a good shot in my eyes. That was the problem with that, Jim. Oh, it's okay though, I suppose. Can't do much with a cue ball. No, it's not that bad though. He's left it where it's pretty thin cut, and even getting the three, there's no positional rewards to the four ball. Could make it and get a decent safety on the four. And with the five in the open now, I didn't even play it. Now then, is there a gap through? Are we keeping you up, James? <laughs> it was a late night. Oh, he's to get just through to this three yeah. mark. I don't know if he can get through to enough to make it. I think he can. He's just come round and had a look where he wants the cue ball, Jim, to make the four. Yeah, you know what? There is a window there. If he can get back over the left-hand side, wow. No, perhaps not. So with this three ball, <coughs> could be very, very key if David can just nudge into them, the seven and the four here, Jim. Now it's a different game. Yeah, you expect David to win these these battles, these safety battles, and a good safety shot from him there. Yeah, it was played and as perfectly. you said, Mark, he's just developed the four ball now, so that's completely changed the complexion of the rack. Oh, and he's miscued there. He's up off the shot. How nice was it to see young Sao Sa win the ladies' event as well yesterday, beating Bean Hung in the final? She was very smooth. I, I did her semi-final match and very sound fundamentals. Yeah, and the coaches don't come much better than Kim Gai-Yung, and that's who she's trained by at the academy there. And Kim Gai-Yung is actually now a Karam three cushion player. She doesn't play pool anymore. She's actually a Karam player and doing very, very nicely. Yeah, making sure he's got plenty of chalk on that tip this time.
David already got him on 3,000. That was a long way off. And once again, I think David has found his Achilles heel, shall we say. Certainly suffering in that department, Jim. David having a quick look at that five. Four to the five. Even though he's got his opponent on two fouls, can't see him not trying to run out here. It's given him a nice opening here, isn't it? To once again take the lead. Approaching the second half of the match now. Good time to start building a lead, Jim. Still work to be done here. Can he just draw off a little bit, Jim, and leave him? No, it looks like he's got to go up table. A little too much angle to try and hold for the six. That's what he's looking at, though. Looks a little steep to me. We'll see how he sees it. Yeah. Oh, what's he done? He's caught the seven. Got too much English on it. Yeah, too much bottom. It was supposed to be a stun, and he ended up playing a little too much bottom. He knew as soon as he hit it, too. Oh, yesterday afternoon, I got the pleasure of playing young Savannah Easton and the predator booth there and I didn't have my cues with me obviously and they gave me one of those revos to play with first time I've used one really unbelievable amount of draw just changes the game completely I can't draw like that but I did with that <laughs> so thank you Mr Revo He's just let struggling, off, isn't let he, off at the after moment? Let off, and eventually, there's going to be a price to pay. Very, very long bridge. A lot of queue hanging over. Uh, we've seen his safety hasn't been the best, and once again, hasn't got cover. Didn't really get the six safe. Would a young Jim White cut this in? Tell you what, I certainly need younger eyes than the ones I've got right now. Didn't even attempt it, trying to get behind the temple. He hasn't got it. He's left a shot here. Uh, David's been a little off boil in this match. He's just a little bit out of sorts, isn't he, at the yeah, moment? He's such a solid player, too. You just don't see any any mistakes like you're seeing from him. He has always been a, a sturdy, dependable team player as well for Europe in the Moscone <laughs> Cup. He yeah, has. We've got a World Masters title under his belt. Don't tell Alex Kazakis about that one, though. Of course, Alex himself is here, and he went on to win the Masters title a few years later, a couple of years ago, actually, wasn't it? In Gibraltar. He's got the stroke. And he's going to be going 4-3 in front. Yeah, it looked like al -Qaedi was going to be the one taking a lead into the second half of the match, but it's going to be the young man from Arab Emirates. Nicely done, and it's been David's own doing. Yeah, now... You just get a feeling that the young man who started on pretty shaky ground this match, trailing 2-0 at one point, he's 4-3 in front now. A little bit of self-belief, a little bit of confidence, and knowing your opponent may be struggling, 
Yeah, maybe David isn't feeling 100%, you know. I've, I've seen him coughing quite a bit. And he's just shaking his head there when the camera was on close on him. Maybe he's not feeling 100%. There's been a lot of uh, cold bugs going around Vegas this year, haven't there? I succumbed to one for a few days. and I think you're the one that gave it to might everyone, Jim. You might be the one handing it around. You brought it over from Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's dry, but no damage done. He's been struggling, Jim, with his break. Well, Katie opting for the push, so we'll see what he elects to do here. Eklund Kachi, 6-1 up now against Jovan Bustamonte on our other stream table, if you want to have a look at that. Go on to our Facebook page. Pro Billiard Series. And you can see how to watch it there. And all the other tables, as we said, are available at tv.kazoom.com. If you haven't already registered, get yourself over there. Register. Kazoom have got so many tournaments coming up, streaming all the tables. Well worth a yearly fee, I think it's around $90 or something like that, Jim, isn't it? I have my secretary take care of all things like that. I have your secretary take care of mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> Shot left. just been told it's a hundred bucks a year 99.99 there you go for a whole year oh has he had a little run he certainly has that's worked out beautifully just draw it back a little bit for the three yeah I wonder I just pumped the 10 out of the way a little here. You'll drop nicely onto the four. Yeah, that's good that that 10 didn't go in because it would have been re-spotted as close to the spot as possible in a direct line behind it. And David Alcady would have been in trouble here. on the safety didn't get over behind <coughs> that six ball <coughs> extension called 30 second shot clock just yeah, to remind you guys right now he's taking a 4-3 lead again another for me an unforced error from Al Katie misjudging position in the last shot and a very poor safety effort getting right behind oh he's gone for the bank wow what a good effort but he's left it Jim it passes the six yeah that was ambitious this shot he obviously thought that even with the 10 there, he had a maybe a big pocket. But an ambitious effort, and I'm not sure this four goes. Oh, it looked on the first angle that it did. 
He's got half the pocket. That's half a four and a quarter, Jim. And how big is a ball? The old shrinking ball shot. Yes, this talented Spaniard, he's not having his way with Talal Albushi right now, not by any stretch. This young player from Dubai. Oh, he's over here, this. I think he was playing for it in the side. Certainly likes letting that stroke out, Jim. Yeah, what a appreciative and knowledgeable crowd we've got here. They know when a player's made a good shot. And that was a great recovery. And once again, it's a mistake from David Alcady. that continues throughout this match the more confident this young man will get quite like him Jim I like watching him play good rhythm nice speed around the table just needs to maybe brush up on his safety and kicking and he could be in trouble we so could, the other he person. makes enough shots where he really doesn't have to fear anybody So, if this goes in, we are going to go out just for a very, very short break. And we'll be back soon, guys. A uh, very warm welcome back. Table number one, the main table here at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino, the host venue for the 2023 WPA Predator World 10 Ball Championships. Yeah, and started to make balls now, that one ball going in the side. And he's got a shot at the two here. Yeah, we were talking just off air. I mean, we're we're very surprised with the mistakes coming from David Alcady's cue, and you know, we wonder if he's really not feeling well. I just think he doesn't look well. Looks as if he's struggling with something. But we're just guessing. We haven't been told anything or know any inside information. Just doesn't look. There he's wiping his eyes now. Look, I'm just wondering, Jim. Could, of course, just be having an off day. While well, he continues to struggle. Oh, and the seven ball that's just caught that eight. Which has pushed or made that seven ball a little bit awkward. The only saving grace is the six is over that side of the table as well. Yeah, important shot right now from the five to the six. You're right, Mark, because he's going to need a, 
Good angle to drop onto that seven nicely. I don't know if he's going to like this. Oh, dear. Trying to come past the seven bolt to leave the six into the top right, and he's hooked himself. Well, what a chance that I'll was. David Alcady just perked up in his chair a little bit. hard to get some separate oh well this could change the match now because I'm sure 100% he didn't call that oh and look he got lucky though Oof. yeah David puffing out the cheeks as he walks to the table was expecting something a lot different to this I'm sure so get a good safety in very thin hit and behind the tent. Oh, he's gone all the way. Nice shot. Now then, we've seen in the past. Talal, not the best kicker we've ever seen. Okay. Going two rails, trying to get it somewhere near that side pocket. Obviously not going 100% for it, getting separation. Some right spin on this, and they once again woefully inaccurate. This might make him feel a little bit better if he can run these out, Jim, and get to back within one. He's got to try and string some together because can't be flying too high in terms of confidence right now. He's missed a lot of opportunities. And again, Mark, they're a testament to uh, what you were saying, coughing into his sleeve. I don't think he is feeling well. Just He's just not the normal. He's normally quite bouncy around the table and you know, a little bit smiley sometimes, but I think he is suffering. Well, I can certainly relate. You know, I had about two and a half, three days of being under the weather here. Yeah, and of course, you had the chance to go and lay in your bed and get over it in time for this tournament. Not a luxury that David al is afforded. But anyway, <coughs> he comes back to 5-4. Now, well, we'll see if he can find a break. Eklund Kachi has gone through to round two. 8-1 against Joven Pustamonte. Edgy Geronimo has taken a 5-2 lead now over Jose Alberto Delgado. Corey Jewell is down 6-2 as well to John Wims. Here we go. Made a ball. Is he going to get kicked in? No. No shot on the two ball, unfortunately. So it's going to be a, a push out. And just look at them balls, Jim. Every ball apart from the 10 is on a rail or close to it. Looks like one of them drills. I wonder if he's t tried this drill at home. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a Gareth Potts one. Now then, can he send the two around the angles and hold the nine? Hold the cue ball behind the nine. He's called the seven, so that's what he's playing, Jim, just in case he sends it around the angles to, onto that seven. Well, we misjudged that. I mean, I, I was wondering how he was going to hit the two when he called the seven. And I thought, 
The three well, was in the looks, way. Well, it looks better if he tried to bank it in the corner. And I mean, how would that shot have looked now the way he's finished on the three? And if that shot's there, now, again, you know, you never know what goes through a player's mind. Playing the bank. No, wasn't interested. And Not quite hard short, enough. It's short again. Not sure how much he can hit of this. Can he get in behind the six ball? No, he's going the other way, I think, Jim. Yeah, he'd like to flick the four over towards the six. Pretty good effort. Yeah, not a bad shot. Might have just the thinnest of edges here. Okay. A real ding-dong battle going on table nine. Daniel Maciel is 5-5 five five with Omar Al Shaheen. One of Talal's friends. that cue ball horrible yeah this doesn't even look fun from the commentary box can't imagine how ugly it looks from where he is gonna have to jack up to cue over the eight I think this is the first ball I'll ever miss from the commentary booth Jim <laughs> I'm not making this one Well, I'll tell you what, that's a highlight shot if I've ever seen one. What a great shot that was. I mean, how difficult is that? Well, David Alcady must be thinking, <laughs> what have I got to do? rail <coughs> it's there it's a great shot oh look at this for a shot as well because it wouldn't pass the seven ball into this bottom left hand corner he's had to play short side on this yeah and this will go by the nine into the top corner and what a steal this would be yeah to restore a two rack lead Once again, played to perfection. Boy, if he ever gets the safety end of his game down. Watch out, everybody. Doesn't want to be too straight on this. He yeah, wants to be off the rail as well. Well, he's all right. Nine ball hanging over the side pocket, almost. Digging down. Oh. Even thumped that one in. He just opened up the pocket a little bit, I think, Jim. A lot of authority, he sure did. Got a lot further from that cushion than I thought he could. So this 10 ball to restore the two rack lead. Race to eight, he's just two away from a place in the next round here at the Predator WPA World. Ten bowl championships. Six four. David Alcady in serious trouble. And I can tell you one thing, if they would have put up a price on this match when it started, Alcady had to be a massive favorite. Four, five to one favorite would have been my guess. first rack I think all the way back to that Jim 
He looked very out of sorts, didn't he? The, the man from United Arab Emirates. And now breaking to get on the hill. As you say, al Qaeda in trouble. Once again, though, it's that break. this in the side or will he yeah he can't quite can't quite see enough of it to run it up to the corner that's what he would have liked but uh, the balls are the balls are running a little funny for David you know he's just nothing that is letting him get that back arm going and like you Mark I I see him even his eyes look a bit puffy I, I don't think he's feeling I don't think he's feeling a hundred percent There'll be no sympathy cards from Talal. No get well cards either. Of course there will be. I'm sure he'll send one, but after the match. Oh, once again, run of the ball. Yeah, it's tough out there yeah, for the David Spaniard. David's doing everything not to shake his head because you don't really want to exude any negative body language. But this young man, well, he raises his hand almost to apologize, but he is he's getting a pretty good run of the balls as we speak. And that can, can change. Bank it. Cross bank, Jim. Oh, good effort. May have called it. But once again, feels the world is against him at the moment. And we are playing the Predator WPA Men's World Ten Ball Championships. Quarter of a million pounds in prize money. Good effort, but once again, he's going to get a nice little flick on the nine ball. Is there an edge there for David? He's just... I think he's got an edge, Jim, has he? He did. Uh, there's a one rail kick on again. Yeah, and the problem with this is where the five is, it's not going to be sending the one away from the cue ball. So if he spins this and tries to hit this off one rail, even two, he really does have to count on being lucky because the five is right there beside the one. He'd love to flick it past the, well, he's got distance, has he? Well, he's made the seven. Now then, a chance. Same pattern, Jim, the safety shot. Yeah, he's, he's got a chance here. The two doesn't look like it goes past the six, so. Could play the six combo. Oh, he's, he's tried to cheat the pocket, Mark. And again, you know what, he's gonna pay the price. He's tried to cheat the pocket to keep the cue ball on the left-hand side of the two as we look. Yeah. But I mean, every time David has done something wrong, he is getting punished. And that's a bad shot from Talal. He's left himself straight in on the two. So can't really get up behind the three. And he's looking at three to the side pocket. Big shot. Maybe even just the line the three takes to the corner. Well, if he's to continue, he's going to have to play the 310. 
quite a bit of distance between them. Doesn't have to go for it. He, he's going for the bank, Jim. Mind the kiss. I was going to say mind the kiss. Yeah, I thought maybe the 310 might have been worth a go there. How much has David Alcady got left in the tank? One thing you can be sure of, he's not called El Matador for nothing. He's a fighter. No, there's no quitting, David, not at all. on the six. Oh. Edgy Geronimo edging ever closer to beating Jose Alberto Delgado. He's on the hill at Only going to be one behind Jim if he can take this nine and ten. Yep. yep. And you know what, Mark? That that score line will probably f flatter him actually the way he's played. Well, if he is feeling a little bit under the weather, he'll feel a lot better when this ten goes in. In he goes. Six five. Now we'll see if David can string a rack or two together and get himself feeling a little better. The reigning champion Wojtek Shevchik has gone through eight two against the youngster, the winner of the SVB Junior Tournament this year, Khalid Al Ghamdi. Hamdi, sorry. Jesus Asensio, he's been beaten 8-3 by Paul Mateus Schnigocki. <coughs> Pierce Labutis, 5-5 with the sensation <coughs> of the Las Vegas Open. <coughs> Luang Duc Tien. Oh dear. Powerful break, but still you hear the coughing. David doesn't benefit from having a mute button like we do. <laughs> it's a good thing we've got a mute button for me here today. Yeah, apologies. That is not the Vietnamese guy I was talking about. I was meaning Duong. Kok Hong, of course, he doesn't play until later on. He plays Mika Imminent at 7 p.m. tonight. No Kioi on the hill against Mats Shetner. and draw this to the side cushion and back out. Didn't get into it. Didn't get into it nearly as 
much as he needed to. Yeah, he saw him gesticulating then that he, with his arm that he didn't get it through. Didn't get a hold of it, Jim. Didn't grab that cue ball. Needs to hurry up. He's got five seconds. Oh, he was so close to time fouling there. Literally. Just as the gong was going to go off. <laughs> the gong. Sounded like a cowbell when we heard it for the very first time. We'd never heard it. We didn't know what it was. <clears throat> Well, this is David Arcady's time. The chance now. And I think he understands the enormity of the situation too. He trails five, or pardon me, six, five and a chance to get to 6-6 six, six against a younger player who's shown that he can knock balls in, gets his tail up, and he can run away from you. Yeah, he's David. wrong side of this. Sorry to interrupt you, Jim. He's the wrong no. side of this. Yeah, David's got to stay with him here, Mark. To have a chance to win this match, he's got to hang in. Can he go high with a bit of right-hand English to play the five into the same pocket, Jim? Is that where he'll go? You could even just kill the cue ball there, really. Just try and leave it right there. I, I, I oh just don't agree dear, with the oh shot. He, he could have stayed right where he was. Just killed the cue ball. Kept it right there. He's got a shot at the at the five. Across the middle of the table. He's 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 not thinking straight either. Yeah, he's, he's not the, the usual David Alcady, that's for sure. Take nothing away from Talal, oh, almost a great shot, but there you see once again, Jim, normally such a master with that air rush, just out of line. Everything was in the open mark, and he was perfect on the three, and... Will he shoot the bank here, Jim, in the corner? Yeah, this is kind of one of those, if he can see enough of it, and I think he can, he can slice this right up the corner pocket. Well, that's where he's going. Wow, look at this for a shot. Great shot. Has he come far enough? Just maybe. Well, by the look on his face, can't tell. He's tight. Maybe just jump over the edge of the eight. We'll, we'll be able to tell if he raises the back end of his cue. No, it looks like he's going to spin it. Yeah, lots of left-hand English on this. He's overdone it, but as has often been the case in this match, he's got away with it. David looking to use the 10 as a stopper, play the six into the 10 and run that cue ball up for cover. Another player from Pool Land. Simon Corral has beaten Luis Santos by eight racks to two. Going well. Got a good distance there. You didn't just drop your wallet, did you, Jim? Sounded like someone fell. Oh dear, he, he called it as well. Not the conventional method. Off the seven and in. So that was the pocket he nominated. What did David think of that? No expression. Gentlemen on and off the table. Going four rails here with a cue ball, Jim. And nowhere near. 
but once again, nothing easy. Still in there fighting, Jim. Yeah, I thought he nominated the side pocket there, and I thought it was going to be a full throttle bank shot, but it was a bluff. Once again, a safety aspect of this young man's game being shown. So a chance for Al-Kady to go level and he'll be breaking himself to go on the hill. You wouldn't have thought that a few wrecks ago. No, you sure wouldn't have. Mighty close to that 10 ball, mighty close to the point of the side pocket, but he's got there. Albeit by plan B. Oh, he played that well. As soon as I saw him jacking up there, I was wincing. David Alcady convincing. He's got a little time and he knows it. 15 seconds. <clears throat> Nicely played this temple then, and we'll be all square at 6-6. Six, six. It's now a race to two. And we're going to nip out, guys, for just a minute, and we'll be back very, very soon with the conclusion. And we're back, guys. Welcome back to the CSI presented Predator WPA Men's World Ten Ball Championships live from the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're in the desert. We've seen a few dry breaks. Can we have a come have a few balls on the break, please, Mr. Alcady? Good time to do it. There goes the one. Any love? Well, possible bank on the two, Jim? No? No, I won't be able to get the cue ball out of the way, but pretty easy safety, really. I feel like he can hit this one dead on, just keep the cue ball right there. And let the two travel a couple cushions and should find cover. I feel like that's what he's looking at now. Yeah, 
any mistakes now are magnified simply because of that scoreline, 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, it's true, Mark. As you get to the business end of a match, mistakes are magnified, aren't they? They're the ones you remember. And he's, I think he's going for this, is he? He's called it just in case in the corner of the bank. He's got an ash. Well, if that would have gone in, that would have been unbelievable. He called it. Yeah, an ash jump cue. Don't see a lot of those. See plenty of ash cues in the world of snooker, don't we, Jim? That's the main wood they use. David's turn to have a little bit of run but could be in big trouble after this shot I bet he can't wait to get out of there have a nice hot lemon and ginger drink and go to bed Jim should be nowhere near that. I don't know if he was trying to hold the cue ball behind the eight. What exactly he was thinking. But nothing more than giving David Alcady the chance to play a good attacking safety. Needs cover, and he's oh, got he's, it. He's found it. Look at that for a shot. Acknowledged <coughs> by Talal. Needs to get closer with this kick than he's been getting, though, Jim. That's a little better. He just changed where he was playing before. It didn't look like he was going to hit it at all. Wow. How can you hit that and it doesn't drop? That's how. Just like that. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't think he knew if he had an extension or not. I ended up playing it very quickly. Chance then for David Alcady. Has he come far enough? Yes. Keeps looking over to that side. I'm wondering if Francisco Sanchez Ruiz has come along to watch. I wonder if he's in the crowd somewhere. He normally is. Draw this straight back. Short of pace a little bit. He's all right, though. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Didn't have a lot to, of the pocket to go out there, Jim. Played it well. If he can get through this match, he'll live up to his nickname. He's been fighting like a bull. sure that young man sat down in his chair now will get a better opportunity to beat him than this morning or this afternoon I should say Jim certainly had chances
just hold it. As soon as you can hold it, hold it. Just maybe stun out a little bit, Jim. Yeah, he's he's done all the hard work in this rack for sure. played and he'll be feeling a whole lot better regaining the lead just at the right time the easiest of tembles then to go on the hill Well, the hill arrives, Mark. So David will break for the last time in the match. And a match that's been going on just over 90 minutes. So he's had to, he's had to stay out there. And I mean, you already alluded to the fact he's not well. And we see evidence of that a lot. And he's got a big water bottle there too. Usually when you're not well, you, you gotta hydrate. Yeah, I've never seen him drink so much water in his in, you know, in his career before at the table. Normally you just sip on it, won't you, every now and then, just to keep you a little bit hydrated. Well, he's got to hold it together for one more rack. A good break will go a long ways to punctuating uh, a gutsy win. Oh dear, oh dear. The worst possible scenario. The pool look gods at the have other ideas. Look Mark. at the layout, Jim. I don't see any problems really, do you? It's been a hard day's work. Very soon he'll be sleeping like a dog. going all the way. Honus Salto coming out 7-3 down against Lian Han To from Singapore. Jose Alberto Delgado, the other Spaniard, has gone down 8-2 to Edgy Geronimo. Well, he certainly got hold of that one. Crowd enjoyed that one. Nice shot. Real good shot. Now one more to the six, or four, sorry, from the five to the six, and His hard work should well have paid off. Just got to keep this near the middle. Just between the seven and the eight, he's got a huge window to drop it behind. But right after that ball was kicked in, it, it looked pretty ominous for David Alcady, didn't it? Yeah, there's been lots and lots of, shall we say, messy racks where the balls have been laid very, very difficult. And just when he needed a decent break, scratches and leaves quite a simple run out. I say simple, of course. Still got to do it under the pressure. But he's holding himself together well here, and we are going to go hill, hill. It's going to be all on the last rack. A 
And it and is, race to one. And David Alcady, the match could well be out of his hands. Have you ever played while you've been feeling under the weather, Jim? Oh, all the time. I mean, you, you can't pick and choose when you're scheduled to play if you don't feel well. Having a cold isn't the worst thing in the world because, you know, your your sinuses and everything are bottled up. It's it's the aches that accompany it and, and the, you know, the, the stuffiness you're breathing through your mouth. And But I've, I've had colds and, and actually played pretty well. But snooker's a little different. It's it's not nearly a, a power game like like pool is. Don't you don't need all that that energy. Yeah, and of course, if you're not, if you're the one sat in the chair, it's a lot longer than a three minute rack, isn't it? Well, that's right. Until you get longer to rest in between. Hopefully not though. Hopefully at the table clearing the table every single time. <laughs> so the fist pump then between these two guys who have gone at it. For over 90 minutes, here we go. Oh, and he did, oh, he almost made two balls. Neither of them wanted to go. <clears throat> How has one of them not gone in? One ball got kicked, five ball got kicked. Then the one ball came for another go. <laughs> Determined to get in a pocket, but never made it. Just kind of favour David Alcady now. Purely, you know, for the moving. Yeah, just based on on experience and you know this last rack starts out with a little bit of safety play, and that's where David has really dictated the pace. but always mistakes at this stage, you remember. Well, Omar Al Shaheen is heel heel with Daniel Messiao now. And there we see once again, Jim. Oh, and that was close. Almost did a Max Lechner there. Do you remember that in one of the masters? With Dropped the chalk? his chalk and he went on to the three ball from memory and fouled. Of course, it doesn't happen with the square chalks because they don't normally roll. Watch this. Oh. Yeah, the chalk, it's a good thing the chalk did a left turn instead of a right turn. Well, he put a bit of left English on it, Jim. Spun it. Is he going at this? No. Yeah, just a containing safety. Has he got a one round kick here? Can he call the five? Okay, is it? It's a good shot. Yeah, that's better than okay, Mark. Jump cue coming out again to see if he fancies the jump shot or he might lay it down and kick it. He's laid down the playing cue. We're going airborne. Al Air. Al International Air. No success with the short stick again. No problem getting airborne, it's just his accuracy has been a little bit off today. I'm sure we'd be the first to admit that.
nicely played. No shot though. I don't think. Has he has he got a, a window through here, Jim? Oh he has. A chance. That's all you ask for. One chance. And he's taken it so far. This is what a great shot that was. Good opportunity. Yeah, David knows what we know. The match is now out of his hands. And he's remembering all those early opportunities that allowed Talal to stay with him. Still watching intently, though. See him leaning round to have a look at that shot. He's still interested. Nokio has gone through 8-4 over Mats Shetner. Oh, he's bumped the nine out a little bit as well, which was a nice little touch. of David's hands firmly into Laos, but he hasn't played the best of shots there. Cue ball's going to have to travel. Yeah, and it didn't need to. Could have just knocked that in, played the six to the corner. Would have been straight, able to draw straight back for the seven to the side. You know, just like you said, the cue ball's got to travel now. And I think he's played it well, though. No, he's back. He's back in prime position. That's exactly the line he should have had from the six. The long straight six, Jim, as you called. Two shots away from a shock result. Yeah, for me, a real shock. Maybe the shock of the first round. He's, oh, I thought he'd missed that. So did he. This temple, the nerves will be jangling. Uh, no problem, in it goes. And Talal al Brushi has beaten David al -Kadi, sent him to the one lost side. Jim White, thank you so much for joining me. Mark White, and we'll see you very, very soon. Take care.